Hi, Timothy Unkert here, and in this video, I want to discuss the infinite for loop with the break in it. Okay, so I've included my header file and I've created my main function. So let's create our infinite for loop. So I created, I'm going to create first an integer i, and then I'll create my for loop and just put two semicolons here. So that means it's basically going to run forever unless we break out of this. Now, in a previous video, I talked about control C breaking out in the terminal. But if you want the program to break out, you're going to have to include a break statement. So let's first, let's print uh, the variable I, just so we can kind of see what's going on here. And we'll give it a space there. And then each time through the loop, I'll increment I by one. And I'll include this break statement if i is greater than 1,000, OK? So if i is greater than 1,000, what I'm going to do is have a break statement. That's how you would do it, all right? And then at the end of this, just for some formatting, I'm going to use put car. And I'll put uh, a new line character there. And I'll return 0 at the end of this function, OK? So I'm going to save this. And what I'm going to do is open uh, eShell. So let's open that. And let's compile this. All right, so we'll compile it as infinite for loop with break. OK, and let's now run it. And you'll see it breaks out at 1,000. So I printed 1,000 all the way across the screen, started at 0, and went all the way up to 1,000. OK? And uh, then it broke out of the loop. So that is one way you can program a break out of an infinite loop. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications if you haven't done so already. And I thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.